Now, for many of us, virtual reality technology goes no further than the hyper-real graphics of computer games such as Grand Theft Auto. But it has a much more serious purpose too. A new player in New York is using virtual reality to tackle some hard-hitting contemporary issues such as women in the military and soldiers dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. Called Ugly Lies the Bone, it tells the story of one soldier who returns from Afghanistan severely injured. The rehabilitation process uses virtual reality to transform the way wounded veterans live and cope with their injuries. The BBC's Golda Arthur has been to see the play to find out more. Everybody here is always talking. <laughs> talk all the time. They don't say anything. What do you mean? People want to talk about grocery lists. <laughs> A young soldier called Jess is the main character in Ugly Lies the Bone. She's just returned home to Florida after three tours in Afghanistan. And after being in a war zone for so long, she's finding it difficult to adjust to the banalities of civilian life. They talk and talk and they don't say anything. Not a single thing. Nothing happens and they're still talking about it. And nobody cares what you make for dinner. Jess has post-traumatic stress disorder. She's also physically injured. Her face and her body are covered in third-degree burns. She moves awkwardly with a walker, wincing in pain at almost every step. Until now, pain management has not improved since World War II. You could stay on morphine or try this. Okay? A faceless voice in the play is her therapist, who persuades Jess to try a new and unusual form of pain relief. It's the same as when you were a child and your mother said, look over here, so you didn't notice while she ripped your Band-Aid off. That's all we'll do. Distract the brain with enough stimuli it can't think about your pain. It simply won't have time. This is a virtual reality experience created just for her and called Snow World. Boy, it snowed in Afghanistan. I've never heard quiet like that. The snow in the mountains. Raw Florida is nothing but flat heat. A good choice. This is a very good choice for you. And tell me what you do when the snow would fall. Once Jess puts on the goggles, she's transported into an expansive, snowy landscape. This is a world of her choosing, and it's so encompassing that it succeeds in reducing her pain and bringing fluidity back to her movements. So you're trying to give the feeling of beauty and of vast space and of snow and and this immersive feeling, which is a hard thing to convey dramatically. Lindsay Ferrantino is the playwright of Ugly Lies the Bone. She says virtual reality fits in with the other contemporary themes in the play. But bringing this virtual world to life on stage was challenging. In this production, we've used projections of uh, the snowy landscape. Uh, so you're seeing what she's seeing. You're seeing the as she walks through the land. You see when she turns her head, you see the landscape move to the side. When she bends down to pick something up, you see, you see the, that from her point of view. Lindsay Ferrantino may have dramatized the game on stage, but it's very much based on a real technology which has helped soldiers deal with extreme pain. The real game is called Cool, and soldiers who used it reported as much as a 50% reduction in pain. So how does it work? In the lobby outside the theater, the game is available for people to try and experience for themselves. So with the goggles on now, I'm actually in the game and I'm floating down a river... And it's a strange experience now to be going over a waterfall in slow motion and descending to the bottom in virtual reality. Um, Along the banks uh, of the river that I'm floating down on on either side are these brown otters. And the idea is that I click the mouse and I shoot a paintball or a snowball at them and they turn into different colors It is a really immersive world to get into. It's pretty all-encompassing. And I can see how, as distraction therapy, this would certainly do well. Virtual reality is not just a cool technology. It's going to give us an alternative to relying on expensive treatment, to be healthier on our own. What's exciting about Ugly Lies the Bone is that this is the first dramatic presentation of VR that is so close to home. The play makes virtual reality very real, here and now. Howard Rose is a CEO of DeepStream VR, the company behind the game. He says we'll soon see VR technology become commonplace, but its real power to transform is its ability to help people deal with physical pain. 
Virtual reality is giving veterans with extreme pain from burns and wounds an alternative to drugs that helps them heal and recover faster. VR is going to help bring about a real revolution in health and healthcare. Howard Rose says that although people may think of virtual reality as something futuristic, he hopes that seeing it on stage here in New York will show that this technology has already arrived and is working in powerful ways. And that was Golda Arthur reporting there on the role of virtual reality and the rehabilitation of uh, veterans and that play uh, talking about it uh, in uh, New York. Coming up after the news. 